talk to the vlog i just started packing and i didn't actually get a chance to actually say hello but hello if you're new here i'm georgia k i am a first year history phd student at brown university and i make these sort of like phd vlogs lifestyle vlogs all about my life as a graduate student as a phd student so yeah so today i am getting ready to go to north carolina for a conference it is the african-american intellectual society conference um which is just like african-american history and i'll be giving a present a presentation tomorrow which is really exciting but also kind of nerve-wracking because it's my first like conference i've been to graduate conferences before but i haven't been to a conference like in the field so that should be new and interesting um i don't know if i mentioned it's in charlotte north carolina so my flight is in two hours i actually have to go to class first and then leave class and then go to my flight so it's gonna be a chaotic day, but I'm gonna take you guys along for the entire sort of like experience of me going there, seeing what everything's like, and just documenting my first conference. <laughs> So I just got here. Here's a little tour of my hotel room. I am staying at the Holiday Inn. Um, they got us like a double suite, which is really cool. Uh, this is what it's looking like. So pretty standard hotel room, but uh, it's been a long travel day. I am probably gonna sit for a minute and then try to get dinner. There's like dinner downstairs, so I might try to go do that but i should be more alive tomorrow when it's actually like fully conference time and i actually should prep tonight which i will definitely do because i'm going so freaking early in the morning that i'm like i should basically prep right now so i'll do that and i'll get dinner and then it's day one of the conference so it is day one of the conference i'm all ready today is the day that i'm presenting and i literally could barely sleep last night like i kept feeling like i would oversleep or i was like oh maybe i need to like get up and start working on my papers so it was just like it was a really stressful night's sleep so i'm looking forward to finally being done and having it out of the way so that i can go back to not being so anxious about it but i hope it goes well and i've been practicing and it's just oh my god it's my first one so i'm like i just want to do a good job but i know that i'll get better at it the more i do it but yeah, just to be honest, like I've just been so anxious about it and it, I have to leave in like an hour. I got up an hour earlier just to get ready because I just all like I just already couldn't sleep. So I was like, I might as well just get up. So yeah, so I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm going to do one more dry run before I go downstairs, have breakfast, and then I'll head over to the Divorce Center, which is where um, the conference will be taking place. So Okay, so quick outfit check. I really like this outfit that I picked for the conference. It makes me feel very confident, which is what we want. So I am wearing this cheetah print top and these black like slacks. They're actually like yoga pant material, so they're super comfortable. Um, and I'm wearing my Apple Watch, which I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wear it. And yeah, so it's really a simple outfit, just the slacks and um, this top. So, so yeah. Okay, I had a lovely breakfast. It was really good. Um, really enjoyed it. I met someone who's also going to the conference, but she stayed back. Um, so already off to a good start. I feel a lot more calm. And now I'm just walking to the building. It's less than 10 minutes away. So only thing is that it's kind of rainy, which isn't fun, but I'm making it work. Took. I think I was actually after my after my presentation I was like in the bathroom releasing all of that energy from being so nervous but presentation went really well once I get back to the hotel I'll like sit down and actually talk about it 
but we, I finished my presentation, went to a few sessions, and now we have like a little break for lunch. At first I wasn't going to get anything because I'm not that hungry, but I am kind of thirsty, so I'm going to try to go get like iced chai or something. Um, and it's like a little solo date. Um, I am kind of sad. I wish I got a chance to talk to everyone before they disperse because I was like trying to like, you know, see if I can make some conference friends. But I wasn't able to because everyone immediately left like after our sessions because I think everyone was tired and hungry, which is fair. But I do hope that in the next day or two that I'm here, I can actually get to talk to people more because I feel like the morning has gone by so fast. So it's just been me like, you know, doing my presentation, watching everyone's presentation, and then everyone just left. So, I mean, we have a few more presentations for, left for the day. I'll go to a few of those. I'm actually really tired, so I might duck out a little bit early. Plus, I have class of all things so i'll do that and um once i'm done with class tomorrow should be much better because i'll be much more well rested and i'll be done with classes so okay so a little check-in i think the last clip i had was either me walking to lunch or something probably that was the last clip but um i was talking about how i didn't get a chance to speak to anyone because like i was just like so frazzled in the morning and then i did my talk and then i went to another session and then i came back and I went to lunch and everything, but actually funny enough, after I said that, then I went to this like hall, like this food hall that I didn't even know was there because I was looking at restaurants and I couldn't find anything. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna walk to a coffee shop and get coffee or something um, or chai. And I passed this coffee shop, not this coffee shop, I passed this like food hall I venture in there and like half of the conference is in there and I'm like that's so funny and so I end up sitting at this table with um a few professors uh who you know study African American history they're all um 19th century historians and I was just getting to talk to them and it was really fun that's what I wanted I wanted a chance to actually like sit and talk with scholars and like have conversations and not just like even though like obviously like sitting in a panel is great and you learn a lot of great information I feel like you learn a lot when you actually talk to people one-on-one -on -one. So I was just really excited to do that. So I got to talk to some people and then I got to actually when I went back to the next session, then I got to talk to even more people. So I feel much more happy now. Like I was a little bit disappointed earlier because I was like, that's what I wanted from a conference. Like I wanted to be able to talk to people and have conversations. So that sort of worked out. I feel much better. Like I was just like really, I feel like I didn't say it, but I was disappointed. And that's what I was going to sit down and say. I was like, you know, this conference experience, like. I don't know because you know it's like I came here by myself so it's just sort of like I had to jump into it and try to get to know people and especially since this is my field like African-American history like I want to get to know people and I want to hear what people are working on and sort of like think about my own project and I did mention that I got really great feedback on my own project which feels really good just some different ways to think about it um, someone was telling me that I can think about it from a social reproductive lens um, there are sociologists so just like the interdisciplinary nature as well is really 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 cool so yeah, I feel so much better. I got back um, like 20 minutes ago. I needed to sit and decompress because I was just like coming down off of like, I have been thinking about this weekend for the past few weeks because I was just like, it's my first conference. I want to do well. And I was just really nervous about it. So I feel like I'm finally just like letting go of some of that anxiety. Um, and it went really well. The talk went really well. And now I actually have class. <laughs> I have class. I have class on Zoom. I have my um, bag and stuff with my supplies and my computer because I have class on Zoom. Um, and that's just the life of a graduate student. Is that uh, I have class on Zoom because like I still have to go to class and I still have to do my assignments and everything even though I have a conference. But funny enough too, when I was at the conference, so many people thought I was like, um, they're like, oh, like, you know, are you like a professor or something? And I think it's really funny because I was for sure one of the youngest people there because I'm a first year and oftentimes people don't really present in their first year. Um, and so I was on a panel with like an actual faculty member, like an actual professor. And I was like, oh my God, this feels so strange. Um, and that's just the dimensions of sort of like being a young scholar that is like, it's kind of cool that I get to work with all of these people who have so much experience and they can teach me a lot, but it's definitely like when you're in a room and everyone's like, oh, like what school do you teach at? Like, where are you a faculty? And I'm like, um, no, I'm a first year. Uh, so yeah, so yeah. Yeah, but that was just a lot of rambling. I have class and I think I'm gonna try to go out, do a little solo dinner maybe later. That might be cool. Um, if not, I'll maybe do room service, but that's a fun part of the fact that Brown is actually paying for my conference, which is great. Love a graduate school that does support their students financially. 
more graduate schools need to do that um but i talked about this in a previous vlog but i basically submit reimbursements after i finish conference and whatever i pay for beforehand i can submit for reimbursement as well so like the meals and stuff will be reimbursed which is good so that means i can order something have some dinner and have a chill night because tomorrow is day two good morning guys it is the next day um i just went ahead and got ready did my outfit for today today i'm actually wearing jeans um so i'm going a little bit more casual but i'm about to go downstairs and get some breakfast today i'm only going to one of the sessions because i'm actually going to a meetup um if you watch like most of my videos and you've heard me talk about this before but i am a part of this group called cohort sisters which is a community of black women pursuing doctoral degrees and it just so happens that the founder is hosting a meetup in charlotte because she's also here for this conference so she's hosting like a lunch so i'm gonna go to the 10 15 session and then duck out at like 12 so that i can go to that lunch i'm really really excited like i literally been following her for such a long time i saw her yesterday and i actually fangirled a little bit because i literally have like i follow her on instagram i've been following her youtube like her first like her video that went viral about sort of like how to pursue a doctoral degree is the one that literally informed my decision to go to phd to go to get a phd so this should be fun i'm literally i feel like this is probably going to be the highlight of my trip to be honest like even presenting everything was great but like getting to meet someone you who literally inspired you to go pursue a phd is a once in a lifetime thing so yeah so i'm going to quickly run downstairs get breakfast then i'm going to walk to the walk to the du bois center which is where the conference is being held and then i'll watch um the session on how to publish a book and then i'll go get lunch <laughs>